So, working on this 2013 BMW 320XI, and we're uh, taking a look at this passenger side headlight. So, you can see that you got these honeycomb shaped LEDs that surround the lights themselves. Right now, they're working with the lights off, so they're sort of just a running light. But then, when the car's running and you turn your headlights on, you can see that the passenger side doesn't work. And that's a concern. So, I'm going to walk you through the diagonal on that and how to check it. And, um, yeah, we'll figure out whether it's a problem in the headlight or if it's a problem in the car. All right, so I got the fender liner off of the Beamer here on the passenger side. And if you take a look in there, it's all nice and green. So I bet you some moisture got in those connectors. That one's starting to look a little green too on the inside. But I bet you it's all nasty in there. I'm going to take it apart. But I bet you that's the wire that runs the LEDs. But I'd put money on it. Okay, so I pulled those back. And sure enough, they're all corroded. Looking all nasty. I tried cleaning them up a little bit. Just rubbing them back and forth. Try to make some contact. I'm going to turn the lights on and see if, uh, see if they come on. On this side, I know that the driver's side works. So, turning the lights on here, you can see in the reflection of the truck, it's on right now. This green wire is what's feeding power to those LEDs. Now, on this side, it was severely corroded. Um, when I actually tried to take that weather weather packing apart, um, the connector inside actually broke apart. So now I know the green the green wire supplies power to the LED strip. So on this side, actually doesn't seem too bad. But what I'm going to do is take my wire strippers, and I'm going to do a proper connection on these anyways because these aren't going to last. The lights have only been in the car for maybe six months, I'd say and you know hasn't even made it through the winter time and they're already looking real nasty so i'm gonna strip those wires back plug them together and then test voltage coming from out of the connector and then also what's on the other side of the connector to see if it's just a bad connection there or if it's possibly this uh, box that that's running into i'm going to assume that those small black and white wires that run up under there, feed the LEDs. LEDs don't take very much voltage, so I'm going to assume that they're just those small wires. Um, yeah, I'm gonna strip those back and show you what I get for voltage readings. So with the uh, headlights on, got a good ground, and I just twisted those wires together. I got rid of the, uh, the rotten chunks of corroded connector. That one's not too bad, the other one's kind of nasty. Um, I did have, the lights are off right now, but I had 0.4 volts, so not very much. Um, I would expect to see a little bit more than that. So I'm just gonna unplug this connector right here. And I'm going to find out where the power feed comes out of that connector. And I'm gonna see what's coming out of the vehicle harness. I would expect to see a different reading. Um, if it's the same reading, I'm going to expect that there's probably some uh, corrosion maybe on that board that's in there. So that'll be the next step. Okay, so I fought and fought to get this connector off. It was like jammed in there. I thought it was just dirt, but no. Bunch of pins are all corroded. That's why, that's why the voltage was all whack. I expected to get at least 12 volts maybe six, but I expected 12. And sure enough, that's why I was only getting 0.4 volts. Um, my suspicion is that the water moisture was, had wicked down the harness through this poorly designed aftermarket connector and was just feeding its way right in through those pins. You can see like all of them are pretty well corroded. And like I say, these lights have only been in this car for maybe six months. So 
that's unfortunate. Um, I might try and see if I can do a repair, but there's pretty there's little hope. I know I can take apart this factory connector. If I can find the right pins, I can clean this all up and rebuild this side. It'll be trying to rebuild this side that it's going to be a chore. Um, not sure what I'm going to be able to do there. If I can even get it apart, looks like this is going to come off. And then it'll just be trying to rebuild it and seal it up the best you can. But as far as the lights go and the, and the light fixture itself and the ballast, everything there is good. It'll just be repairing the electrical connections and sealing it up the best you can. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if the other side's not far behind. That's going to be another thing. Um, but we'll look into that later.